Now, a small group of Russian military police stationed in Syria have been caught in a terror ambush. According to the Defence Ministry, the Russian troops managed to repel al Nusra militants despite being surrounded and heavily outnumbered. And this is some of the latest video of Russian strikes targeting al Nusra positions as part of the air support for ground forces. Moscow said the terrorists wanted to capture the unit operating inside the de-escalation zone. Murad Gazdiev reports on the latest from Syria. The rebel offensive in North Hammer was apparently huge in magnitude, supported by tanks, by artillery, by armoured personnel carriers, and uh, joined by hundreds and hundreds of jihadist fighters in violation of all established ceasefire and de-escalation deals uh, in Northern Hammer in Idlib province. A few details of the rebel offensive also emerged. The Russian military says that one of their chief aims was to surround and capture a detachment of Russian military police monitoring the de-escalation zone, uh, a tentative ceasefire in the area. Apparently it devolved into ferocious fighting. The group of, uh, the group of Russian military police, just 29 people, uh, were surrounded and outgunned. Nevertheless, they held their own. As a result of the ambush, a platoon of military police numbering 29 people was trapped for several hours and was forced to repel enemy attacks despite being outnumbered. The Russian military police unit is said to have withdrawn without casualties. The Syrian military has gone on the counterattack, supported uh, by the Russian Air Force as well as the Syrian Air Force. They say they've killed more than 850 jihadist fighters, destroyed 11 tanks, four armored personnel carriers, as well as dozens and dozens of pickup trucks and artillery pieces, all in all blunting this significant rebel offensive. These are the latest images from the Syrian city of Deir Azor, where an Iranian convoy has been delivering humanitarian aid. It's one of the first aid convoys to reach the city, who had been under control of ISIL for three years. Now, during the siege, the only way locals received food and medicine was for it to be airdropped. Well, for now, a massive operation to eliminate remaining terror pockets is still ongoing. More than 85% of the territory is now under the control of Syrian government forces. Two nearby villages have also been liberated. These are the latest updates from the Russian Defense Ministry. It also said some parts of the opposition Syrian Democratic Forces are on their way to Deir Azor to join ISIL battalions. According to the ministry, Syrian government troops have been targeted twice from the area controlled by the SDF and the US-led coalition.